Hey y'all, Spooky Pops here. I wanted to make a quick video on Baldur's Gate 3, The Chosen of Shar, or the Daughter of Darkness quest chain, specifically where you get to the three trials and you have to find the spear. I wanna cover this, I wanna make a quick guide on it, because I have spent the past two or three hours ripping out my hair, wondering if the area was bugged, if I was doing something wrong. I did not get hung up on the trials, I did not get hung up too long on finding the spear, I was making a boneheaded mistake of clicking the wrong transponder on the platform that takes you to the inner sanctum. So I wanna cover it all, make sure that everyone has the ability to move past this area easily and not get stuck like I did. So hopefully you enjoy this complete guide. I will cover the three different trials, how to find the spear, and then how to get to the inner sanctum on the quest chain, the chosen of Shar in Baldur's Gate 3. Enjoy. With the soft step trial, this trial is fairly straightforward. You are to move through a labyrinth while dodging two shadows that are on the lookout for any intruder. The easiest way that I found to be able to do this, and I'm sure there are a lot of different ways, the easiest way that I found was to send Astarion alone without any party members in his group. So he was alone, sneaking, hidden, and the, the rightmost hallway has a button about halfway down that if you press it, opens up that doorway. The rest is fairly easy. You just have to dodge the two shadows and sneak into the to the end. Unlock the gate up here, and then you've gotten your first orb that you need. Fairly straightforward. That is the soft step trial. So then the second trial, the self same trial has you defeating your own party. And again, I'm sure there's plenty of ways to do this. The easiest way that I found was to sneak your entire group off to the right, sneak up behind whoever is on this stairwell and have a Starion, a Starion attack with a stealth attack or anyways, however you want to do it. I found it the easiest to sneak off to the right, come up from behind and start attacking my my own party that way. But it is also self fairly self-explanatory. You just have to beat your party and grab the orb at the end. So the third and final trial, the Leap of Faith trial, the method that I used, and I'm sure there's plenty of ways to do this, like I've said for each of these trials, is that if you kind of keep your character still and move your cursor up, you can see a darkened path and so I just tried my best to stay on the path as I saw it. So I knew there was a path here in the middle. So I jumped off to the middle. Um, I knew there was a path off to the right, kind of centered. So I did the same here. Um, and then finally, the platform where the orb is, you can kind of see that darkened path right there. And that's what I and that's what I aimed for at the end. Um, again, a little a little less straightforward than the other trials, but nothing too too difficult. So that's the last trial that you have to do. We will cover the last orb next and then, uh, and then move to, to, the, to the library. So I'll, do, I'll, I'll tell you how I got the last orb, the fourth orb, and then, uh, and then I'll take you to the library where you can get your spear. So again, I'm going to preface this how I preface the other trials. I'm sure there are a lot of different ways to do this. However, I found the last orb with a group of enemies. The orb was off to the side in the temple. You have to jump across a platform to get there. And if you find a group of enemies waiting in an ambush, quote unquote, you know you're in the right place. So the easiest way I found to do this, I'm sure there are a lot of different ways, but I found the easiest way was to enter into the room, persuade the demon, who is the same demon that Raphael wants you to kill, persuade him, that you are on his side and will help him try to find a way out of his contract. He'll let you be. What I found was the easiest was at that point, get up behind him, start off the battle with Asterion, hitting him with a kind of a stealth attack and then nuking him down as fast as I could. From there, it's actually fairly easy because all the other enemies are fairly scattered. So it takes for time for them to get there. I think I used Gale's kind of fog to 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 obscure everyone's vision in the room. And then from there, it was fairly straightforward just to beat beat the rest of the demons. But here is 
where you can find that last orb. So after you are done with the fight in the library, after all the enemies are done, you want to head to the bookshelves off to the right. The bookshelf that I am at right now, and I'm disarming traps, so note that there are a lot of traps along these bookshelves. You are looking for this book right here, The Night Song, it's titled. This is the book you need to put on the pedestal at the very far end of the library that will gain you access to the treasure room. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward. So at the far end of the library, after you have the book, after you've disarmed the traps, after you've unlocked the gate, you can put the right book on the pedestal. I was actually trying to trying a, a variety of different books, a variety of different objects, until finally I got the right one, the Night Song book. Note that it will show that it's the invalid combination, quote unquote, but the treasure room will unlock for you. That's how you get into the treasure room for the spear. And let me take you to the last part that actually held up me for two to three hours, how to get to the inner sanctum. So this is the area you're looking for, for the platform that takes you to the inner sanctum. What held me up was I was not clicking the transponder that was actually on the, the platform right there. I was clicking the one outside the, the platform, not part of the platform. And so it wasn't moving. So I was pulling my hair out thinking, holy crap, my game is bugged. I'm so pissed. But in the end, I, I figured it out. And th that will take you to and from within the temple to get to the inner sanctum. You're welcome. Hope you enjoyed this guide. Hope you don't have to pull out your hair like I did. Enjoy. If you are enjoying this content, please consider subscribing to my channel for more Baldur's Gate 3 content. Good luck. Spooky Pops out.